Previously on Yakuza 4 Remastered. Could a demon be? What in the fuck, dude? Do they re fucking render out an actual Kappa for this shit? What in the fuck is going on? <laughs> so I was like, uh. Uh, hello? Is anyone here? Nico, where you at? It's the finale. You got to do the, do the thing. Nico. 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 Where the hell is that dickhead? Oh, hey, a note. Dear Kiryu, if you're reading this note, it means we finally reached the finale, which means I can do the thing I've been wanting to do this whole Let's Play. I didn't forget about all those tiger drops you gave me back in Yakuza 3, so I thought it only fair to pay you back in kind for this finale. Sincerely, your friend- Hey Kiryu, payback's a bitch, ain't it? Nico! Sneako B! Back with some more Yakuza 4 Remastered. Who we last left off! We went ahead and beat up all the remaining gangs in the city as Kiryu. We fought the Joker at one point. And this weird guy's mask, oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. I, I don't know. They're, they're freaking dead. <laughs> but I will say they actually ended up being more fun than I thought it would be simply for the, the insanely goofy dialogue that uh, Kiryu had with all of them. We also ran into a mythical creature as Saijima when he comes across a freaking Kappa that is not only just like, it, well, no, I come, I'm sorry. It comes across a guy dressed as a Kappa. But then there's a Kappa in the freaking sewer system as well. And I, what really just shocks me is the fact that they went out of their way to actually like fully model and animate a, like a, a little creature like that. All for just that one cutscene. Honestly, they could have just had his little fin come out and that would, I feel like, got the point across. But no, they actually had him like look up and like get, give Sajima his big old googly eyes. There's some goofy shit in these games. Remember that time Yagami found a UFO? Ah. Good times. And of course, we also had to have our obligatory Amon fight, except this time it's times four, which allowed us to go through an awesome tourney arc, which I actually kind of loved. I loved all the all the dudes getting their one-on-one -on -one fights with a with some Amon, with Kiryu then fighting Joe Amon. And I will say it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I think it helped a lot that the Amons themselves really didn't have a ton of health. The hardest one was Sajima's just because he had the ability to heal himself. But even Joe was, yeah, not too bad, all things considered. Didn't take me too many tries to actually beat this one. By the way, you guys did point out, I actually already have fought uh, the these Amons before. They're actually in Kiwami too. That's right, I forgot about that. I'm curious to like fight through them before getting to Joe or or something. I don't know, it's, it's been a while. I, I thought they seemed familiar, or at least some of them, like the, the Kazuya Amon. Though I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't in the original game and that was just something they added for the Kiwami version. But anyway, uh, last episode, uh, Fafa said, The reason why I arrived being a police officer is supposed to be such a big reveal is because it's supposed to explain exactly what his motivations have been this entire time, as well as why Akiyama trusted him. He's a cop with a sense of justice. As a police officer, he works directly under Munakata, and thus his true loyalties this entire game have been to him. He was only with the Yakuza because Munakata ordered him to. However, he also has a strong moral compass, and when Munakata ordered him to capture and possibly kill innocent children, he disobeyed him as that was going too far. It was this justice that drew Akiyama to him, but Akiyama was operating under the flawed assumption that he was Yakuza with moral compass, rather than a police officer with a sense of justice. Because of this flawed assumption, it made everything he did come off as a betrayal of the Tojo when the reality was that he had never held any sort of loyalty to the Yakuza. Basically, everything he did from killing that Oena Sewa goon to killing Shibata were all done to serve Munakata until he crossed the line that Arai thought too far. He's supposed to be a good person with loyalties to a terribly evil man. Now as to the questions you currently have and might have in the future, why do you shoot Kido? This one is actually quite simple. Murakata has been shown to be someone who deals with loose ends. He killed Sugiuchi and tried to kill Tanamura and his family, remember? Kido knows about the file and is therefore a loose end. You also missed the part where Arai explicitly did not kill Kido, shooting him but sparing his life, which actually pissed off Murakata. It also shows that Arai is having second thoughts about following his orders. As for why he didn't betray Munakata sooner, 
if he was having second thoughts, remember that loyalty to one's superiors is considered a very important virtue in Japan. Moreover, Rai had no reason to doubt that Munakana had bad interest in mind. Sure, he ordered the deaths of the Uenasewa goons and Shibata, but they were both assholes, so Rai likely had no compunctions against killing them. It's only when killing Kido and Kiryu's children, people Arai knows are not evil, that he started to have doubts. DLDR, Arai was never loyal to the Tojo, only to Munakata, and has been from the beginning of the game. He stopped because he threatened kids, he shot Kido because he was a loose end. Okay, I see. So, I mean, th that does explain it a bit. I do have a few, a few things, though, like some issues, right? So the fact that he's a cop might explain his moral compass. And actually, I, I like that explanation for why Akiyama trusted him, right? Like, so that, like, that, to me, that, that's good because to, that was such a big part of Akiyama's character that he's able to read people this way. So I think that's good. And it sort of also explains why with Kido, he also sort of misread him because Kido was just being loyal to Arai in a lot of ways, not necessarily Katsuragi. And even then he was still having his doubts, which Sajima ended up sort of pushing him in a direction that he wasn't really expecting. However, the thing that I have that sort of like kind of gets me with Arai is that he's literally just killing everybody. <laughs> he's killed so many people. And apparently that's just okay. <laughs> like that's just fucking fine. If he's supposed to be a cop, like shouldn't there be like, I don't know, consequences for that? Like he's just going around and murdering people, including his own boss in his office. Not to mention, I, I also don't love the whole like, Oh, you spared Keto. Like, he shot him in the fucking stomach. <laughs> like, I guess he knew that wasn't like, oh, that's definitely not gonna kill him. Like, I don't know, man. Like, that's <laughs> getting shot in any way, especially in your chest or stomach or whatever area, is never a good thing. Like, there's no guarantee you're not gonna die from that. Like, I get it. I know he's supposed to be alive. Like, I, even though we haven't seen him, he's alive apparently, but uh, still, again, a little bit of a stretch. I think it would have been better, honestly, if he just like shot him in the leg or something and, you know, then had him go down that way. Unless I'm misremembering. I, I actually want to check this. I want to make absolutely certain I'm not like fucking misremembering this bullshit. I'm pretty sure he saw this guy like right in the chest. Yeah, he shot him in the fucking stomach, dude. Like, that's not... It doesn't seem like a mercy kind of shot. Like, I, I mean, I don't know. I think it just sort of it can be chalked up to a lot of the problems with this game's plot and that it's just messy and it doesn't feel necessarily super well thought out. But I do understand what you're saying in regards to Rai and his actual loyalties in terms of like, yes, he just, he's like a vigilante of justice, right? Dishing out the murder on all the bad guys. Fuck arresting them, they just die. And again, I get that that was under Munakata's like orders as well, but it's like, dude, like how is he getting away with this shit? But Fafa, thank you so much for your uh, explanation about Rai and his motivations. And here's that reason you are comment of the day. I still do think Arai, like, I do think he is probably one of the more interesting aspects of this game. I think I just kind of wish he was in the game a bit more. It's almost like with the same thing with Mine, where Mine was like a really, a really good antagonist that I feel like wasn't in the game enough, but I still like, you know, really was invested in him just in the, even the few short scenes they had. I am invested in Arai, but I've just sort of been confused by a lot of his actions throughout the game. Especially with all the other things happening, I feel like making it even harder to digest and comprehend. But I'll be curious to see then how this, uh, I guess they handle him here at the end. Since I, I assume he's sort of meant to now be the main antagonist? Is this Mutakata's freaking dead? Supposedly? I mean, I, I think I said last episode he shot him in the head. That's right. He only shot Mutakata in the chest. But I guess he's dead. I think. Wait, you gotta check my things here. You need to tell me if he's dead. Shop by Rai. That's just all it says. All right, whatever. What about Keto? Does it actually say that Keto is... Uh, if I was serious, trade and shot by Rai. But see, that doesn't clarify anything, though. It doesn't say shot and kill. It's just shot. I don't know. Maybe he walked. Maybe we'd have kind of walked that shit off. So here we go, guys. Let's go to the finale. Friendship. Hey, you guys ready to go? Let, let's roll, Dante. To the Curio Mobile. Yeah, let's roll. You're really sure? You might want to stock up on stamina if you haven't already. This will be your last chance. I got it! I got all the shit! Yeah, we're good to go. Let's do it. <gasps> oh shit, we all got our suits on? Pray to Yasuko. We didn't know her that well, but... She seemed... Sort of okay? 
I mean, she killed like a lot of people, but they mostly deserved it. Yeah, whatever. Just fucking roll with it. Dante's like, nobody told me I needed to wear a suit. Akiyama was too cool to wear a tie. Ooh, I like some music. Be free, Yasuko! Oh shit, the boys are back in town! <laughs> This is kind of sick. Oh, hell yeah. That looks like some thumbnail bait right there for it to me. <laughs> Might be the whole goddamn city. I'm gonna fight him off. Sir. Iko. Saw Iko Ka. Let's just put a big old pile of money up there and see what happens. I don't know, man. I, I feel like if Arai really wanted it, he would have taken it when he had the chance. He just pretty much left that shit. <laughs> Look at this fucking, <laughs> this fucking pyramid of money. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow it off. Okay, just gonna hang back and wait for things to happen. I miss Majima, man. Too bad he's in jail. Hi, Daigo. 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 There he is. Just walk that shit off. See you, sir. Aniki. It's Kigatsuita. Kido Kara is Senoku no Hanasio Sareta to Kidis. Akiyama san no is Senoku Ubai. Katsuragi ni Watasu Furio Surukara. Zibun o Munakata no Kakuni Sanka Sasete Hoshi. The Yuareta to Kinine. Kidoa Watashi no Shinrai Suru Kyodai Bundes. Naga. ああ。あなたの計画通り神室町から去るはずだったんですから。驚きだな。そこまで分かっているとは。急所を外して軌道を生かしておいたのも、それを確認するためです。あそこで殺さないでおけば、必ずあなたと接触するはずだと思いましてね。Is that really the only reason you let him live? So did Kido know that Arai was gonna was gonna turn on him? Potentially? 
<laughs> Everyone's betraying everybody in this game. Come on. This is キリュウさんやカザマさんといった、かつて登場会を支えた人たちの恩にあなたは背いた。あのマジマさんまでを揉む中に差し出して、どうしてそこまでしてこの金を？お前に何が分かるんだよ？弱体化した組織、直径百団
carrier's coming in high. He's fucking dri <laughs> flying a helicopter. <laughs> Rams that shit into the pile of cash. Oh shit, there it goes. Man, we really should have tied that shit down. Free money! It's Kwame one all over again, baby! Let's go! Woo! You're sorry, your, your money was in the way. From my landing spot. Who is that? Oh, it is it is us, okay. I thought we were coming in from the bottom like we always do. And fighting a billion guys. <laughs> they said, ha <laughs> Dope. Yeah, fuck that money. Pick an ass to kick! ヒロ I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. i Did this guy fight? I'm あんたのためにイヌジニしていった杉内さんや久井さんのためにもちゃんとあんたを捕まえさせてもらうよ。この小僧が。さすがですね。秋山さん。ああ。ちょっと安心したよ。秋山さん、すぐにファイト。ライ
Whoa, no. Don't think so. Come on. <laughs> Kick the shit out of him. Oh. He lost his aura. I love these. Ah, uh, these juggles, baby. Oh, God, orange aura. Still too slow. Woo! Oh, Jesus. That was cool. Oh, these actually these might be... Oh! Uh, I think it might be affecting his moose set, actually, what what, it, what the color's aura is. That's, I think I remember Mine doing something similar to that. I'm actually really glad that Akiyama brought up to the... You know, I'm glad to say I'm not completely... You know, I didn't completely miss the mark in reading your character. He's pretty much he's thinking the exact same thing I was, you know? Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's uh, the theme they have to start. Uh, oh. Oh! Fucking kicking each other's legs! <laughs> Woo! Focus. Uh, 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 uh. Get him, Akiyama. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Focus. Come on. Oh, that was close. Ah! Ah! Feel the heat. Oh, I think I did him right in the crotch. Ah, oh, fucking dead. Wow, that was amazing. That's one boss fight down. Sajima versus Keto, huh? He didn't say he was a lot stronger than he let on. <laughs> He's gonna have to be. He's gonna deal with Sajima. The tiger. So, Nugia. Got a band-aid though. Oh. Hey, No, aru taka wa tsume o kakusu chu yatsu ka. Akiyama san no mise de ano kane o mita doki chance da to omotta ndesu. Saejima san ori ni itta janai desu ka. ゴクドの Balls out. Oh, ow. <laughs> Show me your power, Keto. You better have a lot of health, otherwise I'm gonna fucking break you in half. He has a decent amount, but I mean this is freaking Sajima, bro. Ugh. Uh-oh. Ow, ow. No, 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 no. Stop that. Uh, uh. Woo! Uh-oh, aura. Uh, uh. Come here. Ah, oh, punch that tooth right out of your mouth, Keto. I actually, I actually didn't do it that time. I can't break Keto's pretty smile. It's interesting. It actually seems like I'd be fine through like a gauntlet of enemies. This basically just kind of throws him right into the final final fight, which I actually kind of I kind of appreciate. You know, I think we already had enough fighting a gauntlet of enemies on <laughs> in the previous chapter with uh, getting up to Kasaragi. The blue and orange colors going on here. Oh, you got a side must grab. Oh, he's getting it, juiced up. Uh, uh. Uh. Come on. 
Get up, get up. Oh, he's charging. Oh, did he heal himself? Oh, he did. I didn't realize. I was like, this guy was dead, by the way. Oh, he's healing again. I can't actually hurt him when he's doing that either. Oh, here we go. Ugh. Ugh. Get up, boy. Ugh. Ugh. Focus. Feel the heat. Yeah, I mean, Kita was strong, but I mean, and even in that, that scene right there, it still kind of showed that, I mean, he's no match for Saijima. I am kind of surprised to see Kiryu fighting Daigo. Kiryu-san,なら,この金なんか使わずに、同情会を立て直してみせろ。so you're saying a curious basically accepting that that he is responsible too you know だが俺にも意地がある俺を信じてついてきてくれた仲間に俺なりの生き様を見せてやりたいあんたが昔俺に見せてくれたようにだいこ what are we even fighting for at this point? I mean, is anyone going to get all this money? Look at this shit. It's just floating around. Hey! <laughs> Oh, time for the rematch. Oh, that's so dope. Oh, my God. These are dynamic intros here. They're fucking incredible. I'm already hot and heavy and horny. Oh, Tiger's actually got the most health out of everybody so far. Uh, music is more melancholy this time. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. My kidneys, ow, my kidneys, ow, my kidneys. Holy shit, I'm having to match this for a long time. Ugh. Get off me. Yeah, it's like different. Everyone's getting like their own versions of the uh, the intro song. It's cool. Trying to get a Kamaki parry off here. Come on. Ow. Or even a tiger drop, I can, Jesus. There we go. Stop it. <laughs> Stop doing the same thing again and again, Tigo. Damn it. I want to eat you with Dragon King Essence or something cool. Fine. Uh-oh. Uh. Ah. Body slam. Uh. 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 Oh, God. Uh. Uh, oh, shattered his hand. 
So you're gonna do it, uh, still alive. Come on, come at me, Dago. Ah, that's it. <laughs> what fish all with a tiger drop? Yeah, Murakawa can actually like hand-to-hand -hand fight me here? I don't want to die. What's up? What are you doing? Don't worry about your actions. I'm not sure what you're doing. What are you doing? No, I'm just going to... Oh, am I going to fight his dudes? That makes sense. What can you do with this man? You're going to be the same as your father. You're going to be the same as your father. Munakata. You don't understand me. I can parry bullets, man. In this city, there are 100 or 200 people in this city. There are only people who are fighting alone. They're like them. Ah, you know. So, let's go. Let's try to enjoy the feeling of the game. Let's try to enjoy the feeling of the game. Let's try to enjoy the feeling of the game. Let's try to enjoy the feeling of the game. Let's try to enjoy the feeling of the game. Let's try to enjoy the feeling of the game. Get him, Tomara! Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Leapfrog! Yeah! Tomara time! Seshiro Munakata! Ah, shit! Fuck! Oh God. Oh my God, he's gonna shoot his gun at me too, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he's running, he's running. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh. Do I have any weapons? I do have this. Fuck this. You all die now. Sure brought some guns for Tonomer right here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, got it. Got it. Oh no, the, does he just send out more dudes? Regardless? Oh, I think he might. It might not matter. Ah, stab, stab this shit out of Munaka. Munakata. Woo! Parry all these fools. Ugh. Yeah, Tomar feels like he's got the much harder fight here. Ugh. Ugh, feel the heat. Ugh. Nice shit, Tomara. Oh god, they're still coming at me. I didn't stop him at all. Okay. Ugh. Holy mother of god! Somebody hit me. That's right, his bullets can't do anything because I have the armor on. Hey, motherfucker. What you laughing at? I'm gonna throw you off this goddamn building. Ugh. You dumb bitch. Ah, snap your fucking neck, Munakata. Oh, here we go. Whoa. 
No, 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 Okay, I do have to beat these guys. Okay, oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I was hoping you guys just give up when your boss was done. Never mind, I guess I am fighting through waves of dudes after all. Just in a different way. I gotta stand on X, cool. Come here. Uh, uh. Come here. Uh. Snap that shit. I'm a licensed chiropractor, part-time. You motherfuckers. Kill this guy, please. There we go. Jesus. Guys, guys, there's something that moves to stagger me. We. Uh. All right, one last bodyguard. It's the captain. Uh, of course it is. Time to give him the the smoothment. Here we go. The move. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah! Do it again. Ha! -ha! The most powerful of all moves. It definitely looks super cool. Look at this. Ah! Uh. 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 <laughs> Fuck your shit, bitch. I'm gonna break your arm again. Actually, I broke it and then I put it back in place. I'm gonna break it again. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Backhand slap! That's how it's done, Mutakata. <laughs> oh, it runs over here now. Hi. Sorry, was that the last one to finish? Oh, 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 Shoot his ass, Tanamura. Murder him right here. <gasps> Kill him. Oi. Mate. Trust that he's not going to shoot this guy in cold blood. Tanimura. Aim for the dick, Tanamura. Actually, you know what's gonna happen? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because nothing happened to Arai after he murdered everybody else. Why would anything happen to me? Ah. <gasps> In that right or I, my best pal. さん。
私も一緒にお付き合いします<笑>ありがとうあ私が知ってる警察という組織は利権と欲望の場所だった君みたいな刑事に最後に会えたことで少し救われたような気がするよ I swear to God, Munugara grabs that gun that just got tossed on the ground I'm, I'm gonna lose it Please don't do it Game, don't do it Don't do it <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is comic villain laugh? Kimshonyogurda. そんな人間が捕まることがあると思うのかえお前の犯罪行為は証明されてる。確固たる証拠もあるんだ。なのにどうして逮捕できないバカだな。現場も刑事ってな。警察というのは正義だ。この国の正義を司る崇高な組織だ。その警察の顔役たる私が逮捕されてみろ。バカな一般市民は混乱するだろう。そんなことを警察が許すと思うがね。<笑>権力者は権力によって守られる。なぜかわかるかそれがこの国の秩序のためだからだ。殺すなら今のうちだ。だが殺せばここにいる全員刑務所行きだ。それでもいいのかさあどうするどうするえ<笑>結局お前たちがしたことは労力の無駄遣いだった。Drop this guy right the edge. <笑>じゃあ、本当にそうか試してみようか何何あ,あ俺だ。準備はできてるよし。じゃあやっちゃって。And that guy! Yeah, him, Sudo! The son! On the Hanash Kitamas and the style! Shimbushan Kasdoni Kesho, the helicopter scoundante! Nani come right in the sky! Ejanega Kokubin no Tavada! Yvasa Katego de Tinjane! Donnie's got his jacket back on! Sara! <laughs> We're still grabbing all that money. <laughs> Tokyo PD Deputy Commissioner Corrupt. Uh, that's right, because he's a journalist, too. I forgot about that. For Date. これは俺らの知り合いにちょっと気合いの入った分野のおっさんがいてねその人が書いたスクープですああそうそうあんたが追いかけていた例のファイルのコピー提供したのは俺らなんですけどねあっ貴様これであんたはおしまいだ
Wait, please. Come on. Dead. Akuma. Akuma san. Kusa. Oi, Akuma. Akuma. Daijoubu ka? Akuma. God damn it. Fucking knew that shit was gonna happen. Oi, Akuma. Doko wo utareta nda? Daijoubu ka? I actually thought there was going to be rubber bullets in there or something, but... Maybe. Is he alright? I think he is fine. Or did it hit some shit? <gasps> oh, money saved your life, baby! Nice. Sick, <sighs> you Okay, seriously, we need to stop throwing our guns on the ground. We need to we need to have a talk. Yakuza protagonist. Okay, at least fucking Akiyama didn't die or something. And then I would just been like, we just had to have another moment. But I hate I hate that a lot of these moments are coming from just really stupid moments, right? From just stupid decisions and fucking guns. Money does solve all your problems. <laughs> and can save your life. Uh, <laughs> Those Yakuza 4. What? And he shot himself two weeks later, March 30th, 2010. Did we honestly just leave the fucking gun on the ground still? Did he just stand on it and then leave it there? Is that Hana? Hana John? Death of suicide? Yep. <laughs> Unbelievable. That shit needs to stop, Yakuza. Yeah, <laughs> I think it is. I think it's Hanachan. I think she lost a lot of weight, though. Hmm? Oh! Ah, sorry. I was in the hotel. This place is a fucking mess now. Sorry. Ah, sorry. I didn't have a friend here. Yeah. It's not a bad thing.自分一人だと整理整頓もできないみたいで。本当私がいないと何にもできないんですね、社長は。え？ <笑>私も社長がそばにいないとダメみたいなんです。ずっとご飯が喉通らなくて。社長、私もう一回この店で雇ってもらってもいいですか？花ちゃん。Is actually her same voice? 
This actually sounds different to me too, it feels like. そろそろ花ちゃんが帰ってくるんじゃないかと思って買っておいたんだよ。ああ、そんなに痩せちゃったらお腹も減ってるでしょ。ね。社長。もうちょっとは綺麗になったね。とか言ってくれてもいいじ
I was like, how are they going to do this? And I'm like, just controlling one character at a time. Like, so Akiyama's, it's funny how Akiyama's, Saijima's, and Tanamura sections were all fantastic. And it turns out the weakest link of this game is actually Kiryu, the main character, it has been the main character for all these previous games. And I think that is sort of like the, the Achilles heel of this game is that they just didn't know what to do with Kiryu, right? He's already gone through so many different adventures and so many character developments that they weren't quite sure what to, to make of it here. Though I am, I will say, I, I did like how they sort of came back around with his, like, I'm done running, right? Like, I'm done uh, not of trying to avoid this duty of, you know, inserting myself and helping out the Tojo or, or, or running from my responsibilities, essentially, right? Putting them off and giving them to, to Daigo and, you know, just wishing him the best. So I, I was happy to see that. I thought, again, rise line that, you know, you're always too late, I thought was a really fucking great line. But it's also just like the fact that they they managed to hop between all these characters and each one has their own theming, right? Akiyama's focused on his hostess club stuff, as well as the tests that he gives to people. Saijima, his whole redemption arc, breaking out of jail. Uh, his God, his confrontation with Majima. Saijima was, was easily the highlight of this whole game, though, right? Easily. That section was just like banger moment after banger moment. Like, God damn. <laughs> So good. And Tanamura's section two with his uh, relation to Little Asia and the foreigners, as well as his uh, his duty as a cop, right? The new characters in this game were fucking awesome. So freaking good. Oh my God. And he also easily the highlight of this game were the new characters. All three, Tanamura, Akiyama, and Sajima, fantastic characters who I hope show up uh, in later games in some way. I can't imagine they won't, right? But this game, I will also say, actually had some of the best scenes in any Yakuza game, in my opinion. And a lot of them were on Sajima's side. Like, the the brutal killing, right? Where he slaughtered, you know, supposedly slaughtered, like, 18 dudes, right? Yes, it ended up being true, but that scene was still, like, powerful as shit, right? Like, it was so fucking raw. Just watching this dude run in there and fucking you know, wrestling with these dudes, shooting them, and like, fuck me. His fight with Kiryu was just like, oh my god, all kinds of hype. And again, the, the fight with Majima, that felt like something that was built, had been built up since freaking Yakuza 0. And then, of course, the moment where he, you know, chews everybody out in the audience and tells them all the guilt that he felt for all these years. Some of the best fucking scenes in this whole series. It just, they were so good. I think that the, uh... This is also the best version of Kamurocha that we've ever had. And it actually kind of blows my mind that later versions of Kamurocha don't have the the density that this one did. The rooftops, the underground, the, the homeless area, the uh, the Little Asia. I mean, Grand Little Asia changes in later games, but it's like, what the hell, man? This is awesome. This is easily the best fucking Kamurocha. Better than any of them. Any of the Judgment games as well. Oh, Harka, that's right. I forgot you were in this game. It's visiting Hamazaki. You guys actually said that apparently this whole th the whole thing that happened with Hamazaki and how he died too. Uh and apparently Harka was involved as well. Oh my god, no fucking way, dude. Oh, now this is a, this is a fucking, no, oh, wow. He did say he was done running away, but. I did not think he'd actually really be truly inserting himself back into this again. Well, shit. I actually love that. You guys told me the whole thing with Hamazaki and stuff was apparently in like a side game or like a, like a mobile game or something. It was, that was explained, which is hilarious. It shows exactly how that happened. Oh, Sajima, you back too? We managed to get the cops off you? Oh, he's going old school. Oh, wait, is he? 
Is he the chairman now? <gasps> what about Daigo? この登場会は俺たちの生きた証だ。ああ。力になってやってくれ。直系最重組としてな。The Sajima family. Akasuru. Oh, Tojo clan, I know, I see. He's a patriarch. And that's sick. That's great. Now he's got his own family. That's super awesome. That's super sick. Okay, no, Daigo's still here. He has to. He has to be. Majima's out of jail. I feel like I missed the whole fucking plot here. Yes. Cool. What about you, Kiri? Do you have your own family now too? Wow! That was actually an amazing fucking final scene. Jesus, I made the ending even better. Finn! But not really, because, you know. Two more games. <laughs> At least with Kiryu. Alright, here's all my bullshit. I never changed the difficulty, motherfuckers. I knocked on 29 pedestrians. That's always been. I always thought that'd be a very funny thing to track. Did I ex get exactly 100 kilometers run? That, no, that's probably like the max. The game just stopped, stopped keeping count after that. I, I, I would assume. A action finishes 50. Number of street fights 112. 85% completed. And 84 hours. A percent per hour. Yay, $3 million. Uh, a new mode has been added to the main menu. Legend difficulties unlocked. Thank you. Uh, use the... Lock post clear data, so we save elements, but if you get a new game plus use clear data, elements such as sub story will not be saved. It's recommended that you create a new save data. Please be aware of when I'm running. Booga booga booga. Okay. New save spot. And also I'm sure premium adventure, right? Yep, there it is. Ultimate match. High difficulty mode where you complete battle missions under various conditions. Complete all of them will grant you a rare item. Really? Oh yeah, this stuff. I remember this. I remember this. Strongest Akiyama. Uh, that's cool. And each character gets like their own shit. Yeah, I remember that. I only load the clear data. Just see what uh, this leads to. I'm almost curious if Haruka's fucking... She's gotta be here, right? Haruka's gotta have her bull... Oh, there she is! Hello! So we're Uncle Kaz? Looks like it, yeah. I wanna go too! Can I come with you? No! Okay. All right, sure. Ray, so where are we going? Uh, uh, we're gonna slowly walk out this way. Ah, oh, it means I gotta. Uh, I can go around the city with her, right? And have to. I got Harka's trust shit again. Do you, you hold my hand still if we walk? Next to you? No? No? Not anymore? Hi, Dio! He's got a funny little walk there. There are these fucking NPCs all just spawning in here. There we go. Okay, it is. Okay. That's cute. All right. I guess for the sake of uh, seeing it all, all right, let's go to the fucking karaoke and do Haruka's bullshit and get completely destroyed. Bye, Haruka. Bye. I still just going to leave you behind like I always do. Bye. All right. What the fuck? Why does it tell me this? I love going to karaoke with you, Uncle Koss. What should we sing today? I told me my life. Well, what? Yeah. Who would have thought? God, you shot me so much. You might mix it up a bit, Arika. Jesus. Oh wait. But what? Oh wait. I'll come on. Think. I think something else too. So many songs I like. Can't decide. Oh, good. I just had a bitch a little. Da, 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 da. Uh, I guess we'll do this one then. I've never heard this one before. I don't think.
I don't think. Well, may maybe we have. I don't know. So I keep track of anymore. All right, here we go. Gonna get a cinematic. Go time, Harka. Actually, this song does sound familiar. No, we do. We definitely have. Spell her, spell her name, that's funny. She got the moves. Jazz hands. Wink. Good job, Haruka. 180s across the board. I don't know if I've actually ever seen that happen before. Are they all at the exact same score for me? Hey, right on that threshold. Speaking of Uncle Cos, I sing too. Want to hear you sing? Uh, not me. Can we do it again? I'll do the other one. All right, well, that's good. I'm gonna actually give me the option to, to to choose. I don't imagine I get it. Well, actually, I don't know. I probably should check and see if I actually have one for her, like a like a duet. Uncle Cos, want to be a karaoke pro? Will you help me get there, please. Wants to me cheer on and get her karaoke pro. Oh. Yep, uh, yep, we got Haruka's trust again. Of course, we can't go through a game without it. All right. I'm tired of my life. The hardest fucking song ever. Let's do this. Karagi Pro, I think I, and I got a Karagi Dragon in the last one, so. But this one is tough as nuts. Here we go. Big focus, guys. Ready? Here we go. No, Medito. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, Oh god, here we go. Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. She got new uh, animations this time. Go, go, go. <laughs> Fucking strut. Strut, strut. She boogieing. Hey, hey. Oh. Okay, actually, you're pretty good. I think. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. We were definitely a karaoke pro over that. Karaoke Dragon! Even better! 
All right, I will sing this time. All right, let me do commercial all by because I fucked it up before. Arigato gozaimasu, Haruka. Thank you for listening to my song. My hit single is coming out this weekend. I definitely did way better that time. Oh, I even got a 200 from the elephant. Thanks, elephant. We're all karaoke dragons inside. You're so cool, Kakai. You sound like a pro. Heh, <laughs> it was nothing. I'm so fucking awesome, though. What? Hey, Rock, thanks, little cuz. Yep, there we go again. Harka sure is happy. Why would I do this to myself? Is there, even a, is there even a fucking... There's not even a completion point for this in here, right? Is there a trophy? I'm actually legit curious. Is there any reason to do this? Any fucking dumb reason to do this, this shit? I don't think there is. <laughs> I don't think there actually is. This is just for shits and giggles. I don't think you think you probably get anything good for this. I think that's, that's that's what I learned from doing this before, where I was like, oh, it's gonna be something great, right? At the end of this, and there wasn't. There never was. None of the items for doing this shit with her was were ever worthwhile. Still love you though, honey. Whatever, Uncle Cas. Whatever. But anyway, as I was saying. It's amazing to me that this Kamurocho never came back in uh, the other games because this is easily the best Kamurocho in the series, bar none. Like, it's amazing. It's fantastic. It's got sections and stories within those sections. Shit's amazing. And you know what's also the best in this game than any of the other games? And this might be a bit of a hot take, is the sub-stories. I think that these, this game has the best sub-stories of any of the games. And I'm talking about Yaxa Zero, I'm talking about fucking Judgment and Lost Judgment. This game has the best ones, and you know why? One, there are not like a billion of them. There are a nice hefty sum of them, but they aren't like insanely overwhelming. Not like Yaxa 3, where it's like, there's like a hundred plus of them, 130 or something. And about like 60% of them are okay, at least okay. And then the rest are just whatever and forgettable. I would say a good solid 95% of the, the sub stories of this one are good, at least good. And some of them are fucking incredible. You know why they're incredible? Because we got introduced to a bunch of new characters in this game and they had such amazing freaking sub stories that flushed them out even more, even more than the ones in the main story. And it's like, fuck dude, fuck. That was so good. It was so smart. Akiyama with his, uh, uh, his tests, right? And he had that one guy that he was, uh, that went through like a whole character arc was fantastic. Sizemore with the little boy, he saw himself, a, a bit of himself in that boy and helped him get out of debt was fantastic. Tanamura in the hunt down uh, for uh, uh, someone related to what happened to his father and you know, learning what actually, you know, the, who his actual father was. Not to mention all of the other stuff. Like I, Tanamura also had the, the best uh, uh, trainer, right? With the, the tie to another case. That was a fun one. I also loved the uh, variety in terms of just the gameplay styles, like everybody controlled so differently. And while this game definitely still had the same jank the Yaxa 3 had with a lot of its encounters, albeit it did not have you know, the awful fucking always blocking enemies as well as pitiful damage with heat actions and stuff, that is gone. Now this game fixed that, which made the, the combat immensely better. Still had some, again, jank with like, enemies juggling the shit out of you once they like surround you got you got you next to a wall and times where you just get, get stun locked to oblivion and that part of the prison oh my god fuck that part that was easily the that was easily the least uh well thought out gameplay section of the game where it was like jesus but it was fantastic like i loved the variety it really even though we didn't go to any other location just the the fact that we had three new protagonists each with their own unique style with a bunch of sub stories that revolved around them like right it wasn't just like what a lot of times happens with curious sub stories where he just goes someplace and reacts to a thing happening right these were tailor made for these characters and we're in a camarocho that is expanded upon right in new and interesting ways like holy shit dude i fucking loved it and again, this actually allowed me to do something I'd never been able to do before, where I was able to sort of spread out the sub stories and the main story, like almost seamlessly. This is easily the most spread out that they ever have been in any Oxa playthrough. And it was kind of nice to just have like, not have these huge chunks of episodes just devoted to sub stories. It was all pretty evenly set out here. And I, I liked that. 
I'm definitely of the mindset that more is not better, especially with these Yaxa games. And a lot of times when they start getting so many sub stories, like in the triple digits, that's usually when it's just, there's just gonna be a ton in there that are just fucking shit and feel like a waste of time. This one had a very solid, like 60 or so sub stories and they were amazing. Easily to me, the best sub stories of any of the games, any of these style games, and that includes Judgment. I thought these were the best. I also thought the music in this game was really freaking good too. There were some amazing uh, battle tracks, and I love that each character also had their own unique battle theme as well, as well as their own unique final boss theme. I mean, it was like, it was a, a version of, each one had like a different version of the same song, but it was still really cool. And again, I think the main story of this game was overall still pretty damn good, right? It, it had a strong start, like through up to 75% of it, it, it staggered a good bit on Kiryu's side, and then it finished strong, which is good, right? That's gonna at least leave a good impression on my mind when I think back on it. It's it's always it's actually really bad if you're if to have like the bad stuff happen either at the beginning or the end, right? And thankfully, this only sort of struggled a bit in the middle. Granted, there were still moments of stupidity that happened still even at the end, but not enough to, to bring it down for me because I, at this point, the whole gun thing, I'm just, I'm so numb to. I, but I do really hope that is something that they start to alleviate in the next game. I know, I mean, obviously that, you know, Yaxa Zero and Judgment, Lost Judgment, they're a lot better about that, thankfully. But I do hope that even Yaxa 5 just does away with that shit, man. Stop fucking fucking up with guns, guys. But I would say also out of the antagonist, uh, I really like Keto. And I mean, to be fair, Keto was like a more of a middle of the road. Like, I don't even know if I would say he was an antagonist. He like, but I liked him. I liked him as he was a good buddy. I thought Arai was very interesting. And I did also like how the his story concluded. I did feel Daigo. I feel bad for Daigo, honestly, for most of the game. Like, I really just felt like, man, he really got shafted so bad. But I, I don't hold it against him. I really don't. I was also very happy to see that Kiri was like, did admit and say that, yes, I am I am responsible for this as well, right? Like, that made me happy. I'm glad he he said stuff like that. It really does feel like to me, like, that the, there was just something that happened in the writing process of this, because there are just too many moments in this game that are, like, legitimately brilliantly written. Like, holy shit, powerful scenes that really hit you hard. But... The parts mostly surrounding Kiryu, right, where the, it just starts to fall apart. It just, to me, shows that there was something happened in the writing room of this game that really just kind of turned it on its head and they sort of lost track of it. And they just stand out in such stark contrast to the things that are so well written. And again, you, like, even in the moments that are like the scenes that are fucking like have a lot of stupid shit, so much stupid shit, like the one on the uh, the top of the in, in Kamarocha Hills, right? We still get like a moment where like a rise says like one of the most poignant lines that you're always too late. Like I'm like that's still like to me shows. No, they do get it. Like, so what happened? Right. We'd love to honestly hear like a behind the scenes or interview the people that like wrote this game to hear exactly what sort of caused that. I, I just wouldn't be surprised if a lot of it had to do with like meeting a deadline or rushing and just not knowing what to do with Curious. Because Curious really ended up being kind of the, the, the outlier of this game, hilariously enough. Even though I will say uh, his his arc and his returning to the Yakuza and stuff at the end and just his realization that he shouldn't, you know, s stay away from it and actually should embrace it and be a part of it is makes me happy. I think that was actually a great way to give him some uh, additional character growth. You know, I will say, let's see, out of the new characters, which one might be, be my favorite? Probably Akiyama, to be honest. Akiyama is just very fucking likable. Then probably Saijima. Saijima was just fantastic. And uh, then Tanamura. Tanamura was also great. I did notice he didn't get maybe quite as much characterization in the main story stuff. A lot of his stuff kind of came through the sub stories, but I still liked him a lot. And again, I, I do hope that they'll show up in the later games. I can't, I can't imagine they wouldn't. I would be shocked if they just disappeared and it was just this game. You guys have already told me how Akiyama was like a fan favorite. I will also say I'm just thrilled that Saijima didn't die. I sort of came to the realization that he was probably going to be fine once his sister died, because I thought I thought what was going to happen was that Yasuko would live and Sajima would die. Then, to be fair, that definitely would have bummed me out way more than what we got here. But yeah, overall, I think this game was awesome. I really, it honestly was, it felt like a breath of fresh air to me in a lot of ways from what we've been going with up to now, right? 
where it's just the focus on Kiryu and Kiryu and Kiryu and Kiryu and Kiryu, you know, and it's, and don't be wrong, I love Kiryu. I think he's a fantastic protagonist, but goddamn, when you finally get introduced to a new set of characters that you can control and you go through their own stories and stuff, holy shit, man. Like, I feel like the, this series fucking needed that, right? Yes, we had it in Yakuza 0 with Majima, but that was a billion fucking years ago. And the Kiwami 2 thing where with Majima again was just really short. Like, we needed this shit, man. And it, to me, was a really, really good decision that paid off in spades. But I guess the question a lot of you might have, too, then, well, then where do I rate this game uh, in my list of Yakuza games? So at the tippity top, right, we still have Yakuza 0 and Lost Judgment. I think those still two are still tied for me. It's it's kind of hard for me to pick between them. But then the next one I would say is still uh, Kiwami 2. And then I would say probably Judgment and then I would say Yakuza 4, and then Yakuza 3, and then Yakuza uh, Kiwami 1. I think I like this game more than 3. I do. Even with all of its pitfalls. And to be honest, if this game's main story didn't fumble so much in Kiryu's side, I might even have put this game above Kiwami 2. I'm not even shitting you. Like, it was close, man. Like, I was feeling that when I was, like, up to the... Uh, before I got to Kiryu's point, I was like, fuck, dude, I might like this game more than Kiwami 2, even. But it unfortunately did stumble quite a bit. So I just can't, I couldn't really give it to it, but it's still really fucking good. I, I really do it. It does kind of bum me out a little bit because I just feel like just even just a few changes really could have like made this shit like fucking the bee's knees uh, for me and really like even beat Kwame too, which I, and people, you know, think the second game is like the one of the best in the series as well. But a lot of the things this game did right were did just really resonated with me. And it actually makes me excited to see you know, a Yakuza 5, and it, I mean, it's not going to happen, obviously, immediately, right? But it will at some point down the line. I will check out 5, and I'm excited because I didn't realize that that game actually worked in a different engine, right? That that was actually the same engine that Yakuza 0 was in. And I think I've heard some pretty decent things. I, I mean, it seems like there's a general mixture of opinions about these three games that were on uh, the PS3, right? Four, 3, 4, and 5. I'm sort of realizing that now. I initially just thought it was three, and then four and five were considered, like, great. But it seems like for a variety of reasons, uh, three, four, and five are, like, polarizing. And I think the big thing with five, from what I've heard, is that it's just so long. It's a very large game. Potentially even the biggest in the series, which can be, I mean, I guess it depends how it's handled, right? But I've also seen a lot of people who say they, you know, really love Yakuza 5, so... I don't know. I'm just curious to see what they do with it. Will I control other characters? Will just be Kiryu again? Like, how is it going to be structured? It, I'm very, very interested to see where they go from here. And also just where the main story goes. But, uh, guys, thank you all so much for joining me through another Yakuza playthrough. Another Yakuza Let's Play freaking under our belts. God, we it's amazing now to think about how many of these series we've been through. We've been through now Yakuza 0... And then one through four, so five, plus Judgment, plus Lost Judgment. We have now done seven of these games. Seven Let's Plays. And they're all hefty as fuck. Because I had checked out all the sub-stories and a lot of the side stuff in all of them. So, but I will say, I honestly have loved every moment of these series. These, these have been so enjoyable for me. And while I can't play them back to back without, you know, risk of burning myself out, I always enjoy my time coming back to them and uh, continuing the legacy of Kiryu or Yagami or whoever, because they are really fucking fun. And I hope that you guys uh, did as well. If you did, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And if you're not already, why not subscribe to become a Piggy Penguin? Aboard the SSLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. So yeah, uh, likely the next game that I do tackle in this series will probably be five. I know people said, oh, you could probably play the Yakuza like a dragon Ishin thing, but honestly, I'm not in a huge rush for that one at this point. I feel like I'd probably just be, be better off just waiting till I've beaten the other ones in Curious Saga before even doing that, because the big thing about checking out that one was that it was new, and it's not really new anymore, so I imagine that there's going to be even more cameos from the later games where, that would show up in that game that would probably be good for me to know before I play it, so... I've also seen some people say, oh, you should check out the, the Dead Souls game. And I'm sorry, but that one I really don't have any interest in. I'm I'm so burnt out and just don't give a crap about zombie games, even if it is a parody and, you know, this non-canon bullshit and whatever. I, 
I don't care. I, I really don't have a lot of interest in that one. So I think likely the next game that I come back to for this, and unless we get another judgment game between uh, now and then, which isn't impossible, but the next one will likely be Yakuza 5. But like always, it's going to be a while before I get to that. So don't expect that anytime uh, super soon. But all right, guys, thank you again so much for watching. And as always, Piggy Penguins, till next time, stay classy.